Hey guys, check out my new Fender. Or should I say, Chender? This is my latest custom guitar from AliExpress. Yes, it's made in China. I got it on AliExpress. So what is it? Well, it's your basic Stratocaster shape, three single coil pickups, maple neck, etc. Uh, I'll go over more specs in just a minute, but first, I want you guys to hear me play it, because it's killer. Check it out. Yes, it says Fender on the headstock. No, it's not a real Fender. And that's going to irritate some people out there, but I'm not really worried about that because I don't think about how other people are going to feel when I buy a guitar. I think about how I feel and what I want, and that's what I base my purchasing decisions on, and so should you. So I got this particular guitar because I like the look of the Yngwie Malmsteen Strat as far as the color and the white pick guard and so forth. But there's a couple of things that I don't like about the Yngwie models and there's a whole bunch of them on AliExpress. They all have scalloped frets and the big headstock. I don't want scalloped frets and I didn't want the big headstock. So I ordered a custom one to my specifications. Um, also, the other reason why I, you know, would want to do it as a custom order is because then I'm able to specify the measurements for the neck and make sure that I don't end up getting one of those big, fat, chunky, round necks. I also didn't want high gloss on the neck, so I had him do a nice matte finish. The bridge is the vintage style six screw trim bridge, and it's three single coils, one volume, two tones, five-way blade switch. It originally came with a bone nut, which is what I requested, but I wasn't really happy with the, the shape and the cut on the nut, so I replaced it with a Tusk XL nut, which is great. Now the pickups. The pickups are an upgrade. When I was placing the order with the guy, you know, I asked him, do you have better pickups that you can put in there because if you don't request it or if you don't specify they're just going to put in the absolute cheapest ones that they have and those pickups absolutely suck i will tell you that right now they have like almost no output 
and you can't really shred with them. It just doesn't sound very good. So I said, hey, what else you got? And he said, I've got these pickups, the whole set, the pots, everything made in Japan and it's really good and you won't be disappointed. And he was right. I'm not disappointed. These pickups sound killer. And it's got a push pull pot right here. So very nice set of single coil pickups. Normally I'm not a single coil guy, you know, I use humbuckers and that's what I like. But for the look of this, you know, with that strat look and the pick guard and everything, I wanted it to look right. So had to have the three single coils. Now the guitar itself uh, did not come perfect like most of my AliExpress guitars. Guys, if you're thinking about ordering a guitar from AliExpress, just a quick note. If you want or if you are expecting like a perfect guitar that doesn't need any work or anything, don't order a guitar from AliExpress. They almost always need some work. Okay, so the frets. I did not send him a pack of Dunlop 6100 frets like I've done previously on some of the guitars. I just said, you know, use your standard sort of medium jumbo frets. And he did. The frets needed a fret leveling and polish, so I did that. And then uh, the finish is pretty good, but there are a couple of like small flaws in the finish. Definitely not perfect. And um, right here, there's a little chip in the paint, but that actually happened when I took the neck off, when I was gonna uh, do the frets. When I took the neck off, a little tiny chunk of the paint came out. Oh well, no big deal. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that the body is made of basswood. So overall, guys, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a really nice guitar. The total that I paid, including the upgraded pickups and the shipping, was $340. Now, I know what some people are going to say. Dude, why don't you just buy a real Fender or a Squire? Well, for one, you can't get a guitar like this for $340 with made in Japan, really nice pickups. You just can't, don't tell me you can, because you can't. I looked, I could not find a Squire in this color with a 22 fret maple neck and a small headstock. And no, I did not want to buy an old used guitar that's all beat up and scratched up. As far as Fender goes, the closest one that I could find is a made in Mexico model that does have the same color. It goes for like $850 and it does not have the six screw vintage style bridge. It's got the 2.1 and that's not what I wanted. Plus, in ordering any kind of production guitar, you can't specify certain things that you want, like the measurements on the neck. I wanted a thin neck profile. I was able to do that with this guitar. So, at the end of the day, this is my Chender. I like it. It's a cool guitar and I'm gonna continue playing it. But I will say, guys, that this guitar will never leave me. I will never give it away or sell it with the Fender logo still on it. If I ever give it away or sell it, it will be sanded off completely. All right, guys, if you like cool guitar reviews, make sure you subscribe because I've got some really cool stuff coming up in the months ahead. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.